watching the old movement such as 100 thunder outstanding achievement indeed and so today we are going to discuss about different types of LOD and this will be a sort of introduction to different types of LOD for you and this is our data so here you can see different players belonging to different countries uh, these are the top players having a maximum number of hundreds in the world so this is our uh, data source and on the basis of this data source we, we, we want to create certain sort of uh, uh, basic visualizations so let me again show you this is our data source name country match type test or one day for example search in and test matches he, he is having 5100s in one day internationally is having 49 and you can see aggregate runs as well and the continent at the end now here we go this is our first uh, question mark we want so so we have just dragged the name continent match type and count but we want to know the aggregate of the centuries we don't want to divide that into one day or test and that is what we are watching right 100 and 100 100 100 is all about international hundreds in such scenarios this exclude level of detail will help you because the exclude level of detail expression declare dimension to omit from the view level of detail and so you then we'll get to know but here let us cal let us do a little calculation which i can show you so from this view i am gonna exclude match type count of 100 and continent and i want sum of of the count of 100 so if i do that i achieve my target so i, I can show you again excluding the fields match type because these fields are responsible to divide this count like this if you want to aggregate these count if i want me right that is what uh, dividing my dashboard correct name is not required because a single person is is divided into one day and test so that does that does not matter what is matter is the continent not even continent and after that i will just drag that to label and i can see so this is how i can get the count of the international hundreds by excluding the match type and the count i don't want i don't want to include match type here right i that, that does not bother me you know whether it is one day or international or test matches that is not required here i just want my total international hundred so in order to get that i need to exclude the match type and that is what we have done here So along with match type of if I if you you must be thinking why not count? So if I do that again, because this count is also dividing, right? I need to because we have a separate count hundred column. So what is dividing this? This is dividing match type and the count of hundred is also dividing. So we need to remove this as well and this as well both and if i do that i get that exclude match time and count as well because this is counting as per match type so we need to remove both match type and count and when i exclude it i get my such as 100 100 So this is the scenario number one where when we are talking about exclude 
now going to include and maybe we can just drag the map like this so it will give you some visual effect over there but what is matter is to understand the concept behind exclude and, and include now coming to the second one now i have that continent name some of runs and i want to know the runs that has been produced with respect to fixed countries for example if i have continent a africa asia australia and south america i want to know how much india has produced in terms of runs so for example if you see in asia there are two indians rahul dravid and sachin i want this aggregate 24177 plus 34347 so how do i get that so in order to get that i will do little bit of calculation and that calculation will be a fixed one fixed country so i make my country fixed and i want the aggregate sum of runs fixed country for sum of runs that's it and i just drag it there, that level now you can see we are so even here you can see for because there are here also you can see we have uh two players from the same country so that's why the addition of runs you can see as 39 uh 1700 that is that you can see that is the sum of those 14 1832 24 868 now here also you can see there is addition of kumar sangakkar and mahila jayawar over there and here all the women and such in the group ricky pointing will remain intact as this because they are the only players from their countries right so here we have made the country as fixed and we want the output as sum of runs so we have been able to do that with the fixed formula now coming to the include now include level of detail expression compute values using the specified dimension in addition to whatever dimension are in the view so whatever you have in the view include helps me to include the dimensions which are not there in the view but still you can have some sort of calculation on the top of that for example here we have continent but i want to see within this continent what is the average score or the average runs being scored per player so what i mean to say is for example if in asia i have sachin and rahul i want to know i want to take average within within asia there will be such there will be such and rahul kumar sangara and mahila jawardhan so each person what is the average of runs being scored by each person within asia within uh within that continent so the total runs being scored is 1 lakh above 1 lakh <laughs> that you can see over there and now how i can get the average runs being scored within that continent by single person so that would be sum of the scores of sachin rahul mahila and kumar sangakara was divided by 4 because these these are four players <coughs> so it should the answer should be something this sum of runs divided by 4 so let us see if we can get that or not with the help of include so we take include names <coughs> and so it will include the names so you have to do something different over here you include the name okay which is not there at view level and you want some of runs okay you have this now i will pull it there so still you have included the names but you will have to change the way you are calculating to average because some will not 
some is not going to get you the result that you are looking for. I, I need average. And it is looking at it. it is reasonable. Four, if you divide it by four, you will get this. So four, two, eight, then two, 29, seven, right, four. So, so this is the way you have got, you have got the answer. So if you see the overall average in Africa, it is around 19,000 per player. There, there were two players, Jack Kalis and Hachimamba. Asia, there were four players. And, and even after that, you see the uh, average is rocket high. Australia and South America, they are one one player. Great. So if you want to get this very particular a blog that is being based, so we'll be updating uh, after some time. That will be in the blog zone. So you can come over there and there are different blogs over there. And you can just go and download this workbook as well from there. So I hope uh, this uh, introduction level of uh, LOD was helpful for you. I'll see you soon. So, bye from Tableau Info.